Ashley here. I am super excited because today we have another adventure that we are going to go on with reading another story. All right, are you ready? Today's story is called The Kissing Hand. The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn, illustrated by Ruth E. Harper and Nancy M. Leak. This story is extremely special because it really, really talks about how much we just love to be loved, right? And even though there aren't any Spanish words in this book, I do want to mention that at the end of the story, there will be a song kind of related to what we're talking about. So in Spanish, the word hand is actually la mano. Can you say la mano? Perfect. One more time. La mano. Excelente. La mano. So at the end of the story, you're going to hear a little song and I hope that you can sing along. Are you ready, friends? Let's get started. The Kissing Hand. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay at home with you? Oh. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. You'll make new friends and play with new toys, read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. So friends, do you go to school? Have you ever been to school? Well, if you haven't, that's okay because someday you will. And maybe you might feel like the raccoon and maybe you won't. But either way, it's a really exciting experience. And you can see that in the story, her, the mother is really trying to help. All right, let's keep going. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand? Asked Chester. What's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand, up his arm, and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with a toasty, warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. 
Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across the tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. I love you. The end. So one more thing, friends. If you put your hands like this, two fingers down and three up like this, this actually means I love you in sign language. So you can use this symbol for anyone. Maybe you have a special family member. Maybe it's one of your siblings in your house or a friend and you want a special way of saying you love them. You can put up your fingers just like this. So I hope you enjoyed this story today. Next, we are going to talk about La Mano one more time by singing a special song. The name of the song is called Linda Manita or Pretty Little Hand. Before we start singing, I'm going to ask you to put your hand just like this and we're going to sing together. Here we go. Que linda manita que tiene el bebé. Que linda, que bella, que preciosa es. Que linda manita que tiene el bebé. Que linda, que bella, que preciosa es. Did you like that? You can also add one more special part. This part is in English and you can put anyone's name in this part of the song that you wish. I'm going to use my brother's name. So here we go. I look through the window and look who I see. I see my brother Nelson looking at me. Hooray for you. Hooray for me. I see my brother Nelson looking at me. Que linda manita que tiene el bebé. Que linda, que bella, que preciosa es. Que linda manita que tiene el bebé. Que linda, que bella, que preciosa es. Did you like the song? I hope so. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep on listening to the song again and again. And before you know it, you will be able to sing it all on your own. I had a great time with you today. Thanks for listening, friends. Adios, amigos. Bye, friends. Don't forget, like and subscribe to my page because there are so many more adventures we are going to go on together. See you soon.